Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine. I'm here with Victoria Conifel and Robert Scott Wilson to talk about the big days of our lives wedding happening this week. Um, Sin is getting married. It's, but So there have been a lot of weddings this month on the show. Two have gone off. One did not happen. How crazy is yours going to be in comparison? Craziest. <laughs> Probably the did craziest. Um, yeah. I mean, we had a lot of epic weddings, but this one... Yeah, this one definitely uh, definitely goes out with a bang, for sure. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I hear the words right out of my mouth. Um, yeah, it. what I can tell you is that you will see this wedding through. It will happen. The I do's do happen. But uh, yeah, after that, no promises. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, there's already a lot of kind of things in the mix with the episodes leading up to this with Claire and other people who may not be happy that Ben and Sarah are getting married. Are we going to see some people come out of the woodwork that maybe we haven't even seen yet recently, at least to kind of stir things up? Absolutely. Absolutely. Some, uh, some very familiar faces and yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely from the woodwork. Yeah, way back in the woods, back where I am, like way in the woodwork. <laughs> way in, in the way, way woods. Way, way in the woodwork, yeah. Um, yeah, there will be some familiar faces. Uh, not necessarily faces that are loved in Salem, um, so that, you know, it stirs the pot a little bit. Um, but, but yeah, other than that, it's just, it's the, the entire family. You know, everyone in Salem gets together for this wedding. I don't think yeah. there's been a wedding with so many people in attendance like i don't think we've have have ben and sierra even been to one of the other wet like why weren't we invited to eli and lonnie's <laughs> well, wedding what happened to that yeah, well, i know i know ben probably ain't getting the invite sierra definitely <laughs> deserves the invite yeah, but ben if they're coming to our wedding then we got to come to that like hello that's there's a disconnect here i got yeah, it wrong it's true but they yeah. i mean no matter what happens they did a really beautiful job writing it you know as usual they, they took good care of ben and sierra and yeah. the set they had like we walked in that day like we don't get sets like that very often and they brought in like they brought in like a, you know a, a crane rig like a like a jib for like you know the up shots like they just oh, nice. they really took their time with it and they 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 really took care of us which is awesome um yeah. so it is beautiful don't get me wrong it's not all like oh shit it's over type of thing um okay. it's a beautiful one. and everybody involved was 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 there you know all the everybody in Salem man it was it was great and Victoria, I know, you know, everybody always wants to know about the wedding dress. And I know you shot this yeah. a while ago, but what is Sierra's <laughs> wedding dress like? Is it something you personally like that you would have for yourself? Or is it more Sierra than Victoria? It's definitely more Sierra than Victoria. My wedding dress would look like an angelic vampire, something in that Ooh. realm. Um, <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I, I think that Sierra's wedding dress is very her. I definitely had input. Um, and I do love it from the choices that Richard, our amazing wardrobe designer, um, gave me. We, you know, talked about it for a week prior to the wedding and, and everything. And uh, yeah, we came up with something pretty spectacular. We had it tailored and everything. It felt like like a, like a real wedding or, or whatever. She looks, like a, she looks like a princess, man. Don't oh. let her be. She looked great. So, yeah, it, maybe not a maybe not a angelic vampire you said but yeah yeah, yeah. you heard me definitely saw it. definitely good <laughs> Def so does anybody have a run-in with sammy brady because whenever she shows up in town there's definitely a lot of uh, she stirs the oh, pot yeah. yeah of course i uh ben had a, a run-in with her um as he's having a beer with his best man with my, my buddy will <laughs> um she comes in and we had a nice nice little scene in the in in, in the bar room so that was awesome okay and for people that have been keeping an eye on claire because there's a kind of a question whether Claire's motives are on the up and up or she kind of being manipulative. Can you talk to that little Victoria? Because she, Sierra is definitely the one closest to Claire at this point. Sure, yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, given her past, it's not easy to forgive someone who's betrayed you in such a dramatic capacity, you know? Um, so I think that, even though Sierra asked Claire to be a part of the wedding and, and, you know, forgave her and they had that beautiful moment, um, there's always going to be a little seed of doubt in Sierra's mind just because, 
she's not sure if she can fully trust Claire. Um, but ultimately she's trying, you know, she's, she's putting her best foot forward and, uh, and we'll see what happens. I don't, I don't really want to spoil too much. Okay. And yeah. one, assuming the wedding happens and everything goes well, is there a happily ever after for sin? Is that even possible in this world? You know what? What is happily ever after anyway? That's subjective. It's subjective to each personality. So uh, happily sure. ever after could look blue to me and pink to you. So what is happily ever after? <laughs> what do you they, think, Rob? They, they definitely, <laughs> like I said, like I, like I said, they, they, the wedding is going to be beautiful and they are going to be married. Um, and I still, I, you know, I still stick by what I said before, you know, love, love wins, you know, regardless of what happens. Um, yeah, they, they will be happy, but they don't give away anything easy for anybody in this town. So, you know, they're going to make Ben and Sierra fight even effing harder for it. So yeah. Um, but yeah, love, love still wins. Love still wins. So they, they will be happy. Okay. And, and Victoria, is, is Hope on board with this now? Is, is everything in the past as far as her not being too pleased about this? Or is she on board 100%? She's on board 100%. She's just trying to be the best mom she can be for her daughter's big day. You know, she's super excited. She's living in the moment. She's totally forgiven Ben. Like, that. that is history. They, they love each other. She's invited him into the family. It's all good. Yeah, yeah Christian's got some stuff coming up that, like, we got to share it with her, but she just, she's got a nice body of work coming up too, man. Like she's definitely a huge, huge, huge part of what happens, everything, you know, with the wedding and, and after. So, um, yeah, there's a lot to look forward to with her too. Okay. Well, it sounds like Good it's going to be a fun ride. Thanks for talking to me a few minutes about it, you guys. And congratulations. Of course. Of course. Gracias. Right. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so you. much. Thanks as always.